So team keep it clean. This is gonna be a little different version of post game thoughts because normally uh, after we watch a Ravens game, I will share my post game thoughts, what I thought about the game, what I thought about the team collectively, uh, and what I thought about individual players' performances too. But in this episode of post game thoughts, y'all have the floor because this is going to be one where I personally heavily uh, rely on the comment section to really get you all's post-game thoughts on how different players performed, uh, how everybody looked, and just how you're feeling about the Ravens moving forward. And again, it was just a preseason, so we can't get a full feel of the Baltimore Ravens team as a whole, but we can get like a little partial feel. You can still feel how you want to feel and whatnot. So I'm going to be looking for y'all heavy because, of course, y'all know, or for those of y'all that were there last night, uh, we just streamed the first quarter, uh, and then we had somewhere uh, to go um, just to have a, have, have a good time. But anyway... Um, from what I saw in the first quarter, and, and oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel because again, it's going to be a lot of transactions over the next three days, a lot of transactions. So it's going to be very, very busy. And then still after those three days, after Tuesday at 4 PM, the transactions are not going to stop because teams are going to be flip flopping and finagling and finessing and doing all this stuff on all these loopholes, bringing these players back and what it's going to be a lot. So Y'all stay tuned for that. Um, but what I saw in the first quarter um, from the defense, uh, the preseason defense, uh, <laughs> it's, again, it's preseason. It's preseason, so it's not all starters. But even with it not being uh, all starters, I mean, you still want to see something. You still want to, like, get a little feel for something. And from what we've seen overall, uh, just the pass rush, has not really been there uh, consistently. It shows up every now and then, uh, more so when they blitz and bring extra guys. But four man, no. That, and again, it's preseason. It's preseason, so I don't think they're doing like stunts or none of that stuff. And I don't. But still, we we wanted to see a little, a little some, just a little bit. But I don't really think we've seen much there. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about David Ajabo. How he's looked, um, and I'm 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 a chill with David Ajabo for now. I don't, I don't really think, in my opinion, I haven't really been fo laser focused on. All right, let me watch every single David David Ajabo snap. But from when I do see him, I, nothing really stood out. Um, but again, it's preseason, so I'm a chill, and they, they, he's supposed to be a top five pick. So hopefully we see that come regular season. Hopefully he like hopefully coaching staff told him don't don't even turn it on yet. Just just chill for now. Um, but what I did see, uh, Josh Johnson in the first quarter, I don't know about any other quarters, but Josh Johnson in the first quarter, uh, he was solid. He was solid. Um, and James Prochet, he had a nice catch. So that was nice. I, I just, I still with James Prochet, I think that's, that's a wrap. I, I think they're going to just put him on injury reserve or something. Um, Tyler Wallace had a really nice catch too. Uh, and then Laquan Treadwell. He came out of nowhere, and I, like I, on that touchdown that Josh Johnson threw to Laquan Treadwell, I feel like Laquan Treadwell was like, "Man, am I really like this wide open?" Because it looked like when he caught the ball, he caught it, and then he ran into the end zone, and he looked like he wanted to celebrate, but he looked like he wasn't even sure if he just should celebrate because he was just like that wide open. I think he was still in shock that he was that wide open. Um, but that was nice for him. Uh, but I, again, I still think that last spot is. Uh, Tylen Wallace's. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see like very, 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 very soon. Um, Charlie Kohler made a, a nice catch. I think he made a couple of catches in the first quarter. Um, but again, and as far as the tight ends, I have always thought that that third spot was his. Uh, I know a lot of people were thinking maybe Vokalek could take that third spot. I, I don't think so. I, I think he'll be a practice squad guy. I think he could actually. Um, I think he actually signed with somebody else's practice squad uh, because I think he could sign with somebody else's practice squad because he may feel like with the Ravens, he just won't get the opportunity. Um, but if they can get him on a practice squad, great. That would be nice for them. Um, running backs, Melvin Gordon. Got to see him a little bit. Uh, and Melvin Gordon, um, I think he could be on a practice squad too. He could be on Ravens practice squad. I think uh, the four that they'll go with in that case, and I guess this will sort of be like a 
post game thoughts sort of roster prediction a little bit but not too crazy with the roster prediction stuff um but i, I think that melvin gordon will go on a practice squad and the ravens keep the other four jk gus justice and keaton mitchell and yeah, the kid did keaton mitchell do anything last night y'all, y'all let me know anybody who did anything last night or didn't do anything last night y'all please feel free to let me know like i said we only watched the first quarter and then we had to go um Wide receivers, uh, and we talked briefly about some wide receivers already. I did see the highlight of um, the Dante Demas Jr. catch, and it was nice to see him finally get an opportunity. Josh Johnson was like, you know what, hey, somebody got to be down there. He threw that thing up, and Dante Demas ended up coming down with it. And that was a big catch. That was a really, really big catch. I, I don't think it'll be enough uh, to, to get him a spot, but it's a nice confidence booster moving forward. And um, hopefully somebody sees that. And, and hopefully somebody, because I just don't think it's room for him on the Ravens right now. It'd be nice, especially him being from Maryland and whatnot, a nice hometown story and whatnot. But I, I just don't think there's room. But we'll see. We'll see. Because, again, the, the, in my opinion, the active roster for receivers is set. It's done. Um, but the practice squad is not. So the practice squad, you could have multiple guys at the receiver position. You got, I think, what, 16 spots, I believe? So with them having 16 spots, like, a couple of receivers going to be there. So but as far as quarterbacks, quarterbacks um, it's tricky because before, like after that first game, I'm like, oh, yeah, Tyler Huntley is him all day. That's it. It's him. It's Tyler Huntley. That, that is QB2. That's him. But then he got hurt. And he's been hurt, and he still ain't back yet, and we don't know the status of him. Ravens are checking for Trey Lance, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, what? <laughs> what's the deal, man? So, initially, I would say our quarterbacks, Lamar, Tyler Huntley, Josh Johnson on the practice squad, um, or for that, if they're going to do that, that third QB rule. Where you could have a third QB uh, Like on game day and stuff Emergency QB, that's what it was um, Then Josh Johnson Could make it, cause I don't think the third QB Can be, be on a practice squad I don't believe, I'm not 100% sure on the rule though But I don't think they can be on a practice squad But if they can't not be on a practice squad Then I think Josh Johnson is that Number three guy, if they can be on a practice squad Then I think Josh Johnson is to the practice squad And I, I think that's a uh, A risk you take and I don't even really think it'd be a big risk. I don't think people are gonna be like, "Oh, Josh, 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 Josh." No, if you put him on a practice squad, I think he'll be safe there. Um, you never know, but I, I think he'll be safe there. Um, offensive line did get big news about the offensive line that uh, John Simpson is the Ravens' official starter, and I was a little bit shocked by that because I thought that um, I didn't even think that the Ravens' starting left guard was going to be on the roster. I know John Harbaugh said that there was going to be competition. What? Maybe John Simpson got it because of his first name. Maybe Harbaugh was like, "Oh, you a John? Oh yeah, you gonna hold it down, baby." But I, I just I thought that the Ravens were going to go sign a veteran. And I know John Simpson is kind of he is a veteran, but I thought they were going to go sign somebody else who wasn't even on the roster to come in at the last second and be that starting left guard. I did not think that it was going to end up being somebody who was already on the roster. But hey, good for him. He got it. He earned it. He got some reps the first team. He was battling with uh, Salah at the position. Uh, and Salah struggled quite a bit. So John Simpson takes over. Now he joins the offensive line. And there's that. There is that. Uh, he will be part of those five guys. And, of course, some tight ends sometimes and running backs and whatnot uh, responsible for protecting Lamar Jackson. So good for him. So we're looking forward to seeing how he does at, at the start of left guard position. Um, and, and I know he, he talked about his confidence. He talked about how uh, he was just cut. He was cut in December from the Raiders. And he said his confidence was gone. Shot. It was done. Uh, so this is just like a new fresh start. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. It's going to be real nice. Like his confidence is going to go through the roof after the end of this year. So it's like Lamar going to be changing his jersey number to one. Jadavion Clowney going to have a resurgence. Odell Beckham Jr. is back. But John Simpson going to be able to tell a real nice story. Like, man, I was cut. Cut from the Raiders. In December. Cut. Release. That's it. And now I'm a Super Bowl. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's, that's good for him and the offensive line. Now, what's going to happen with Ben Cleveland? What's going to happen with Salah? 
Uh, so question marks that back up offensive line. Um, as far as uh, defense, let's flip it over to defense now. Um, Malik Harrison, I think he makes the roster. I think he's a he's a lock to make it. He's been out there in the preseason doing his thing. I don't think he'll he won't get much playing time. It'll be like more so special teams and whatnot. But I think he'll definitely make the roster. It's the last year of his deal. Last year of him and Patrick Queen's deal. They came in together. Uh, they might be leaving out together. We'll see. But um, he he he's there. He he's he's on the Ravens this year. Uh, guys like Malik Ham, mm, I think they'll keep him on practice squad. Maybe. Uh, who? There's there's another guy. Oh, I cannot think of his name right now. I think 50, 53 makes a nice place. Fifty three. I think that's Phillips. I want to say. I can't remember off the top of my head though. My apologies. Um, but linebacker is. I mean, obviously you got your your guys that are locks: Roquan, Patrick Queen, uh, Malik Harrison. Um. But there's Jeremiah Moon. Could, could they go with him? There's Josh Ross. Could they go with him? Uh, Malik Ham, who we just mentioned. Phillips. Uh, you, you got some options, some depth options. Christian Welch. Uh, so it's some different guys that compete in that. Christian Welch. He he probably make it too because they love him. He's a special team guy. So that that's his role. He doesn't carve out a role for himself on special teams. So that may be where he lands. Um, cornerback. Oof. This like I wish I had a bunch of papers right now Because if if I had a bunch of papers For the cornerback position I would take those papers And just throw them all up in the air Because that's that's what you got to do with cornerback Like what do you do there um, Obviously Marlon Humphrey He'll make it uh, Pepe Williams I think even though he's expected to be back in October He'll probably make it They'll probably pass him through And then just put him on injury reserve after that um, Rocky scene obviously uh Ronald Darby, obviously. Um, well, not necessarily obviously, but yeah, Ronald Darby. Cause they, cause they could do one of them things where they cut him, but then they like, all right, hey, we we're gonna bring you right back. We just don't wanna want your deal to be guaranteed every single week. So they could do one but I, I think Ronald Ronald Darby a stick. Um Daryl Worley, yeah. Kevon Seymour, yeah. Our Darius Washington. Yeah. Caillou Blue Kelly, um, I don't know. I know they did say he bounced back this game, uh, but I really don't know. I'm very, like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it is is really tricky. Jalen Oma Davis, I think he makes it. Um, Caillou Blue Kelly, what was he, a third or fourth round ball? No, what what round was he? I forgot what round he was drafted in. No, third round was Trenton Simpson. So maybe Caillou Blue Kelly was a fifth rounder. I think he was a fifth, but because six was Salah, I believe. Um, a fourth was maybe Tavius Robinson. I don't, know, I don't remember right now. But um, Caillou Blue Kelly, I I don't know. I, I'm like I'm so, I'm so lost on Caillou Blue, Caillou Blue Kelly right now. I just really don't know. I don't think there's a spot for him right now. Um, but could he make even just make the roster and be like inactive on game days? Could, but is there really a spot? <sighs> it's so it's so hard to, to tell. Uh, my gut instinct would tell me no, but I guess we'll see. Uh, special teams is already laid out. Obviously, Justin Tucker, um, Jordan Stout, uh, and the long snapper who they signed from the Seahawks. Oh, I forget his name. I gotta remember his name because obviously it's not Nick Moore right now, since he's out for the year. Um, but safeties: Brandon Stevens, uh, Geno Stone, Marcus Williams, uh, Kyle Hamilton. Um, and yeah, I think those will be the safeties right there. So this was more so like I guess just a, a brief roster prediction. We ain't about to count out fifty three spots and <laughs> nah. Nah, but um, that would be some of the guys that I think are locks, and some guys that just it's just up in the air. Uh, but again, Ravens now they go from ninety to fifty three over these next three days. From ninety to fifty three over the next three days. So uh, we are in for a ride. We are in for a lot of notifications, a lot of updates, a lot of announcements, a lot of all that. So y'all stay tuned. I appreciate y'all so much. I look forward to hearing what y'all had to say 
about this game in the comment section i appreciate you i love you make sure you subscribe to the channel so you turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything because it's going to be a lot team keep it clean we out of the preseason and we out of this video